Hello and welcome to the Chanel. One of the president elect Bola Akmetinyi Bull's staunch supporters, Governor of Kaduna State Malam Nasir, held Rafai as denied lobbying the president elect for an exalted position in his incoming administration. Rufai has been a loyal and at times very outspoken supporter of the former Lagos State Governor and played a pivotal role in Tinubu becoming president-elect. Details to follow, but first, subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Tinubu's cabinet. I am not lobbying to become chief of staff, says Hel Rafai. Governor Nasir held Rafai of Kaduna State has dispelled the rumors of him jostling to become the chief of staff in president-elect Senator Bola Tinubu's cabinet. Held Rafai stated this in Gombe on Saturday while addressing newsmen. Reports claim that Held Rafai was in the state to inaugurate the construction of 550 housing units and Gombe Geographic Information Systems GOGRS Service Center. He described the reports on the different portfolios being assigned to him and published in national dailies as mere speculations. The governor said he was more interested in contributing to the development of Nigeria than just lean for positions. El Rafai noted that being in government was not the only way to contribute to Nigeria's development, saying even if he was not in government, he would remain committed to the progress of the country. I have not had that discussion with the president-elect. And I don't like to speculate. I read in the newspapers all kinds of portfolios assigned to me. But you know, I am a committed Nigerian. I want to see my country make progress and whatever I can do to contribute to the development of the country, I will do it. But I don't have to do it working in government. Everyone who is working either in the private sector or civil society is contributing. There is not just one way to contribute to the country. And I will never stop working for Nigeria's progress, he said. The governor said upon leaving office in the next 22 days, he will take a break but be available to provide advice where needed on how to move the country forward. I will be in the private sector, not any chief of staff. I will take a break and advise people like Governor Inuwa Yohaya if they need it, he said. On Tinubu's presidency from May 29, El Rufai said Nigerians will not regret voting the president-elect, stressing that better days we are ahead of Nigerians on that Tinubu. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. El Rufai comment comes as reaction to reports of him becoming the chief of staff to the president-elect Asiwa Jubola Tinubu. There have been speculations that El Rafai was among those being considered for the position of the president-elect chief of staff. However, El Rafai said he would rather remain in the private sector while contributing to Nigeria's development. Meanwhile, the Cardinal State Governor Nasir El Rafai has raised an alarm over the high level of insecurity in the country ahead of the May 29 presidential and state inauguration. El Rafai raised the alarm during the presentation of a security report by the Commissioner of Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruwan, at the Sarkashim Ibrahim Government House, Kaduna, the state capital. The governor advised the security agencies to step up security across the country because bandits could take advantage of the transition period to launch bloody attacks. He also advised security operations against bandits to prevent a dangerous lull during the transition period at the federal level, which the criminal outlaws could exploit. El Rafai called for sustained simultaneous ground and air kinetic actions across the seven frontline states of the northwest zone and Ninja, which had contiguous forest ranges and is most heavily impacted by the security challenge. The governor thanked the federal government for finally authorizing the launch of the combined military and police offensives and also commended the military and security forces for their efforts and sacrifices as they work to approach the criminals. He said, I wish to stress that in this region, this vital mission requires a comprehensive and consistent sweep across the northwest and Niger states for sustained success. 
We appeal for an escalation of security operations over the 39 days remaining till the end of the tenure of this administration and beyond so that the change of baton at the federal level does not result in a dangerous law that the criminal outlaws can exploit. There is every reason to intensify and sustain simultaneous ground and air kinetic actions across the seven frontline states of the northwest region on Niger, which have continuous and contiguous forest ranges and are mostly heavily impacted by this security challenge. On our part, the Cardona state government will continue to do everything within the powers of a state to enhance security. We have invested considerable resources on energy in managing security to the extent that the constitution of our nation permits a sub-national. Our intervention since 2015 includes supporting the federal security agencies deployed in our state with vehicles and other logistics, collaborating with other frontline states to fund military operations in the 2015-16 period, and investments in security infrastructure and technology. El Rafai revealed that the reviewed 2022 annual and first quarter 2023 security reports indicated that 1,266 and 4,973 persons were killed and kidnapped respectively in 15 months. The governor said there has been some slight year-on-year -year improvement in fatalities and other incidences of criminality across the state between 2021 and 2022. He added that his government is doing its level best to prevent bandit attacks in the state through institutional measures and pragmatic actions on the ground. Speaking further, he noted, as the statistics presented show, there has been some slight year-on-year -year improvement in fatalities and other incidences of criminality across the state between 2021 and 2022. We hope that with your combined efforts, this downward trend will continue towards zero in the shortest possible time. The Cardona state government does its level best to prevent these sad events through institutional measures and pragmatic actions on the ground. These measures include persistent pressures on the federal government to launch comprehensive and sustained military operations against the terrorist and criminal elements that are menacing our people and their lives, liberty and livelihoods. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.